Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored. Ooh, and definitely hope the same for you. I must be on a good subject because I don't start issue before I even start. <laughs> okay, let me start this again. Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching the videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos you really can resonate with, please, you know, go ahead and drop a line, share. You know, it will greatly be appreciated. I know I said drop a line twice, but yeah, you know what I meant. And, you know, send a love and light towards everybody, anybody who's coming this way. That is not meaning good for me or just trying to put hidden intent, you know, distractions, just dis destroy and, and just try to distance me towards anything that I know God has really had for me. Send it back to you. Turn to sender. Set what mine is going to be happiness, uplift, joy, and healing. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, the video I'm about to do today. It's called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, vulnerable guides us towards valiant. Um, stay focused on healing and let God and universe do the rest. It's true. Because it was like I was doing something the other day and I kept on hearing the word valiant. I was like, okay, let me go see what this really, really means. My, I was like, I ain't even going to lie. My mind was all over the place trying to heal, let go, curve, purge. And all that other junk. But when it was it was talking about, you know, uh, possessing or, or sharing courage, determination. And it, it, it just wants you to do that because it's like a lot of us, we don't healed. Or a lot of us is dealing with certain things and we, it really put us in a vulnerable point. You may have somebody who just, you know, people just really don't understand what you're going through. Or if you're talking to people, you know, they wish more on you. It'll, it'll be, you know, different things that you're going through. You know what you're going through. I don't want to be digging all through that because I want this to be positive. You know, so just being going through whatever you're going through that leaves you vulnerable. You know, you're trying to allow yourself. You know, you must be really going through something. You can wake up and you don't, you know, sometimes it's hard to wake up and not be in that world of funk whatever you're dealing with you know you're trying to leave yesterday and yesterday but yesterday I creeped up into the day and it went further and further and further and it's just like a lot of times you have to have that that vibration with yourself you know really you know it's easy for us to give up it's easier for us to be seeing everything in a negative vibration but we're really really trying to flip change the perspective of everything that is really just disturbing our peace you know just keeping us in a low vibration just really ask yourself you know what is the situation really trying to teach me because it's like we can all oh everybody's against us or God is just playing with me God is ignoring me you know he feel like you know I feel like he's punishing me you know we, we there's a whole bunch of different different things you mean cussing God out universe out and stuff like that and they know what we face is not easy but it's just like a lot of times you got to break it down like me. It's just like when I'm trying to understand why I'm going through something, I have to really break it down. Oh, this is allowing me to have strength within myself. It's allowing me to know um, even when I'm alone, I'm not really, you know, it's different between being alone and lonely, you know, or just understanding I'm, we're never alone. You know, just have patience. You know, whatever you're facing is really hard for you to digest. You know, give that to God and he'll do the rest. You know, give it to, you know, universe, they'll do the rest. You are so much stronger. You know, what I mean? you're so much stronger and love than you actually realize. And it's like, yeah, y'all keep on putting stuff on me. Like they say, you know, God don't put you nothing on that he can't handle. He must think I'm a bad Okay, I'm, and you know, I'm just that, you know, that gorilla in the mist type vibration of a beast. You know, like, yeah, you keep putting, putting you on, I mean, I'm just like, man, I'm laying on my last leg. And my last leg was last leg three legs ago. You know, about 20 legs ago, but you keep on adding towards it. I was like, huh, thank you. You know, I remember that, that on post that I had with Jack Nicholson. It reminds me of that post with Jack Nicholson. His hair all over the place. A little bit of hair he do have left. And he looking like... He a loose cannon, like, you know, and it was just like, yeah, you put so many growing lessons on him in Ascension, and he's like, uh, I can handle it. You know, like, look at this, you, you are so loose on a screw. You like a loose cannon running around here. You talking about you can handle it. No, nah, let me, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm like, give me a minute. Give, like, damn, let me go breathe, you know. And it's just like you have to be able to allow yourself to know you possess courage. You know, you have this strength. You know, sometimes you got to really 
it would be like a needle in a haystack really like where's waldo type situation but they're telling you you really do have it you really do have it you know you have to really just you know take your moment because it's just like i don't know what's going on right now what is it Ret retrograde i don't know what retrograde we in right now but it's like test after test after test after test clearing karmic cycles clearing karmic attachments really understanding what everything that you have been facing or continue to face what is the lesson that you're trying to receive within that situation so you can let go forgive show gratitude move on you know being able to see the the real person of truth within yourself you know stop allowing fear to overlap your judgment on self you know they don't want you to judge yourself but really see yourself for who you are being honest with yourself to the core being able to be authentic with yourself because a lot of times it, it's like it's easy when you're like okay i don't have this because of this person this situation this one and it may be but it's just like maybe you know whatever's for you is going to be for you but a lot of times you got to go a different route to be able to receive it just put it that way because a lot of times like what you mean they did still this and this and this trust me you know but it's just at that point you never know what God has in store for you because a lot of times we get aggravated because it may feel like, you know what, I'm, I'm in a missed opportunity or, you know, I, I'm just so, you know, I, I felt like I, I don't spoke up too soon. And a lot of times, you know, just like, for example, say you're happy about something and you, you start, you, you got people talking, you got a website. I know I use that as an example, but it's just like, you know, I'm trying to come up with something quick. And you got some people that you've been talking to that may want to invest in that because you really got some cool ideas. And it'll be something that uh, you may have talked to with a couple of friends and don't realize they low-key with jealousy you anyway just because how your mind works, how you're very intellectual, you're very articulate with, with different things you got going on. And, excuse me, y'all been drinking tea. But, um, and then next thing you know, like, oh, you know, we're so proud of you. And then, then giving each other the eye and be like, yeah, I hope that mess falls through. And next thing you know, the investors pulled out. You know, they said they got another uh, thing that they want to be investing in. You know, maybe next time, come back to us six months to a year from now. And this and this. And you get mad, like, or you lost interest. And it's just like, what happened? You know, I was so happy about this and excited. And not realizing universe allowed you to go through this situation. Is like be, be able to see. Everybody that's in your, 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 your circle is not in your corner. There's a lot of times that you can't speak prematurely about different things that God has set up for you. Because you really don't know. That could have been something very promising for you. And if anybody's going through that, I ain't trying to add more you know heat to the damper i'm not trying to do that but what he's telling you is this can still happen but you had to learn about who you can't trust there i mean even it it, it, it could be the closest of family and sometimes you got to be able to move behind you know move in the shadow move you know move in silence and just be able to tell somebody after you get that and it'll be something you know it'll, like i said i remind me a post it'd be something like girl since when a man since when since you do that it's like oh i didn't tell you and you be like, you know, you know, good and well, you didn't tell them because you know every day on time you get ready to do something, they always dry, dry. Congratulations. Ooh, yeah, that's okay. And you know, it'll be one of those different things where they give you the gas face and stuff. I know my eyes are all looking crazy, y'all. I, I, I tend to be, you know, looking different today. It was like uh, my Anchurian vibes today. But um, you going through different stuff like that, you had to be able to experience. It's like sometimes you got, even though when you're happy and you're like, Dad, I'm happy for my friends and this and this and that. And the third, you know why they can't be happy for me? Just because you happy for somebody don't mean they're going to be happy for you. They're not. Because there will be people that you, you know, I used to congratulate and be, you know, and really meaning it. And then when it would be certain with me, I, I couldn't get that same kind of energy I was giving out. And he just told me, these people are not interested in you. When it, It's like, it's all good. Some people support you. Until you start, they start seeing you as competition. It's like, shoot, I ain't competition with you. You know, I want to get my own blessings like you trying to have for yours. But it seems like we got too many different agendas. You trying to worry about trying to make sure I don't get my blessings. But I still wish you well, though. But this is all the time I'm going to act accordingly and move on to the next you know, episode. And you have to be able to go through different things like that. And you're in a vulnerable moment where there's really things that's just really hitting you in all type of ways that you didn't expect to happen. And it's like that that's that time where, you know, universe is really challenging you. Like, you know, really get to the core of yourself. Really understand, you know, that you are so much better. You you are so much more stronger and so much more powerful than you give yourself realize. But when we stay focused on the the things that are not serving us, it'll cloud us at times. It really will. 
you know and we all have that point whether we admit it or not there's all there's sometimes we place a lot of worry in something where it's just like why are you worrying about that why are you you know uh really allowing yourself to place on that because a lot of times you know added a fear that wasn't even there in the first place you know, it, it just be like one of those moments. And universe is telling you, we know you're vulnerable right now. You got a lot of things going on. It ain't just little petty stuff. You got little, you know, like Rock or Gibraltar type issues that you really are dealing with. But right now, you just have to understand. Allow yourself to take one thing at a time. Don't be trying to, you know, take everything all at one time. It's like I'm gonna handle all this, and you know, just thinking that. And we're like, no, just take one at a time you're going to overexert yourself and then you're going to add more stress on yourself than you really didn't need to this is where they're telling you take you know even a baby step and you know i was just telling y'all the other day i can't remember what video it was but even when you do a little something a little something where you think it's nothing that was a big something you really don't know those little baby steps add up when you're doing this every day like with me Example like, oh, okay, I want to do two videos today and upload. You know, it may take about 1,500 hours to go ahead and do, but I'm going to go ahead and do this and then do, you know, two podcasts or three podcasts and to be able to do that. And it, it may be something that goes on within the, you know, whatever. And it might be a challenge for me just to see, okay, we're going to allow her to do like two videos today and maybe one podcast today. How is she going to deal with that? And frustration me, control freak, when it comes to stuff like that, if I, especially if I put a goal on myself like that. And it'll be just experience just like you know what God is trying to teach you he's just trying to tell you okay even though you had this goal to be able to do that we we are proud of you number one <laughs> so we're proud of you number one because you set a goal and you went and aimed for it and just how life has got you you know because a lot of times sometimes God will put you in a test and the devil will be set up here on some mess and so it didn't go out how you how you thought it would be and the lesson is, is like even though you put your best foot forward and, and allowed yourself to try to get these out, because usually you like you, you do one thing and don't, and you'll say you're gonna do it and then skip back on it and renege on yourself and not do it, and then you just like, oh, I'm just tired. I don't feel like doing it. And it'll be just like you could really be tired, but there'll be just sometimes you, oh, I put in enough work. It was just enough. But it's like. You need to go above and beyond. This is not just proving to God. Because God already sees all the different things you're capable of doing. He just wants you to believe in yourself to know you can do it. We know you're in a vulnerable point. We put you in that vulnerable point for you to really see who you are to the core. We need you to do that. And a lot of times you got to do that by being in stressful situations. through Being through some really rocky moments. And that's a lot of times we don't realize there's so many different things that we don't found out about ourselves. And it just so happened to be during the darkest moments. Or during the most hurtful moments. Or, or you know or something that was really hitting you know us to the core and then when it's just the fact is there's something that we can't change and it's like you know the lesson on that you can't control everything and when you can't control anything you're allowing yourself to let go you know and it'll be a challenge because you're like whatever your challenges is whether it's self-doubt not faith having patience believing in yourself loving yourself universe is going to guide you towards all those vulnerable moments just so we we want you in complete alignment we want you to have that love for yourself where you're setting boundaries, not just for yourself, but other people. You're allowing yourself to eliminate anything that is holding you back or is no longer serving you. When you allow yourself to seriously work on that every day, what are you going to do? Allow yourself to journal. Allow yourself to say mantras or affirmations. Allow yourself to go through meditations. You know, have different crystals and stuff like that. Different rituals that you have. And then it's just like, okay, they're doing it. And he's like, man, it's really not getting me anywhere. And it's just like, well, if you keep looking at it like it ain't getting you where they said when you when you don't make the change nothing changes but it's just like you don't realize until you get to that point where you're seeing you know your work of labor and it, it, a lot of times you have to understand I had to remind myself that too a lot of things well all of it happens in the spiritual before it it manifests in the in the spiritual I mean in the physical and there'll be different things you're going through and it'll be just like now really step a look just take a look back and all they had the key word change the perspective of how you're seeing things it could be things where you lack in love and then you'll notice that you you there are certain things that you're not tolerating that you already see is is irritable to your soul you know it mess up your solar plexus really bad i have you backed up for a whole month just because of the stuff you're dealing with and you're at that point where you start outgrowing a lot of things that you already know it's like this is not me anymore it's not interesting and it could be people you're outgrowing a lot of people you're going through steady you know you're going through spiritual awakenings back and forth back and forth back and forth and then you're noticing different things where if you see there's certain energies around you or people around you that are negative or pessimist you don't allow yourself to draw back and it's like hey it's not personal but that vibe is not 
vibing with my vibe. It's not meshing well. It's all over the place. My like this, you know, like this, and yours is just all like, <laughs> you know, it's just hitting it, hitting it, missing all over the place, and it's doing too much for me. It's overexerting me just by the way it's doing, and it's like really draining me. And you're gonna be doing that, or just certain interests that you don't have anymore. It's just you know you're going through, and you're like, wow, it is changing because it'll be just what you what what you interact with, or do you have any um. Uh, addictions you know you may be going through stuff and you you know you really going through it and you're allowing yourself to go through it they always tell you hey don't uh, rule 101 don't ever avoid your emotions don't ever avoid something when it's really hard now it'll be different if you planting th yourself there and be dealing with it for four or five days and it could be something really little just that it had to exit out your life and you know they'll, it, it's like a day you know maybe a day or two you you know you got to sit up here and be in your feelings a little bit but then you're gonna be like okay look it's it's already said and done god don't close the door he said leave it to me he'll fix it let me get myself out of this funk let me allow myself to really change you know there's something good that had to be coming out of this situation for it to you know come down like that and a lot of times it being in our human experience it we automatically reacting instead of really observing to not absorb to make sure we ain't responded on some sneak stuff, you know, when it was really a beneficial situation for us. And then you're allowing yourself is a vulnerable moment, but allowing yourself to understand what changes need to take place. Because a lot of times we, we feel at fault when we got to really go through some change and we don't realize when we set it resistance. Like, I don't like this. This is uncomfortable. You know, I've been doing this. I've been doing that. I've been doing this. And why haven't it changed? And it was just like, because you're resisting change. You're not allowing, you know, a lot, a lot of people love change. I'm like, how do you get around with that? And tell me what your daggone, tell me what your, what's your, uh, what is your secret ingredients to love and change? But then it's just like, when you see how that change is really making you a better person, you being very selective about the things that you choose you being very selective about the things that you talk about when you see it it's just like talking against somebody or even talking against yourself you're like let me retract you know it may be a moment where you really in your feelings about something you say something like okay i said what i said and i said what i said you know but let me move on with that if you know you don't approach somebody and say some mess that really you know is hitting below the belt then you know if you see where it needs to be fit you know, go ahead and apologize. Even apologize to God. Even if you don't be able to apologize. Apologize to God for what you did. Y'all came out of face. You don't talk to all the side of my neck. <laughs> you know, like I'm in my feels. You know, like it's fine. You, or different things where it's just like what we understand why you felt that way. You know, and you did what you did. It's going on today. But it's just like they're always telling you be very, very, very. You know, because different is set up. There is a lot of tests that's coming around. And it's just like a lot of times we get mad. You know, we really get mad about why does God keep testing us? Because he know you good. He know you real good. And he wants you to understand that. You know, you'll start having a different outlook on your whole life, including yourself. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I hope you were able to deal with it and find something else to deal with it. Be able to find something that you, you know, you can resonate with. I would love to give a post notification. Shout out to Michelle Richardson. Much love to you. You know, if you're new to the channel, you know, welcome. You know, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. You know, there's a lot of things that y'all email me about and tell me, hey, Rosalyn, I'm going through this, that, and the third. And I'm really trying to understand. Or, you know, I've been having these gifts of this, this, and that. Because I always tell people, I'm not judgmental. On nothing like that you know because there's a lot of times that we go through some really intense stuff and we're like if people gonna judge me or they gonna think I'm crazy you know and I'm not that person I said long as you ain't touching kids hurting animals or elderly people we good we are really good I don't, I don't I said there ain't nothing really that somebody done gone through that has not really threw me because I don't heard some strange stuff <laughs> and I, said, I heard some strange stuff and I say oh boy that's like, oh hey okay for you we always be going through something but um, you, you're going through different things. And it's just like I love to be able to help. You're all going on a, a stage in our lives where we need to be able to give support. Helping each other. Just be able to know, hey, you know, I'm going through this too. And, you know, we can vibe. We can vibe. You're effed up. And you can recognize the effed up in me. And we can all be effed up together. <laughs> you know? So we're allowing ourselves to really, you know, go through the ascension phase of really healing and really recognizing our power as full-fledged, you know, hybrid, you know, uh, warriors. <laughs> so whatever we speak on, I try my best to be able to help out the way I can and give an answer and insight that I best way I can because a lot of times people share different things with me and want my input on it. And, you know, I try to keep an open mind to a lot of things. If it's meant for me, hey, they'll, you know, Universal give me whatever they, they need me to 
send back to you to re relate to you or whatever i'm trying my best to be able to do that and whatever we speak on is discreet you know I also i just dropped a new um podcast and hopefully you'll be able to you know watch that as well you know i'll put that on my community page you know if you're interested in you know doing podcasts you know hey hit me up let me know um i really love doing it it was good i haven't did it in a while so i just dropped you know one of the new gems you know hopefully you'll be able to you know hit uh actually watch it and if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, Cash App is there as well. You know, whatever vibes you're really needing right now to really, you know, work on getting your manifestation and fruition, you know, I'm sending that to you a million, 20 times fold. You know, a lot of times we, we have to have patience. We have to believe in ourselves. You know, there's so many different things that make us feel like things are just not happening for us. But you just don't know what's going on behind, you know, behind the scenes. You don't know what's in store for you because it could be boom and i'll fall for you tomorrow and you would just shook <laughs> and then be like you understand why god told you you should not give up trust in my plan you know like that time time and i'm like god dog why don't you say my last is timing okay because y'all be slow at times but you know it you know it is what it is you know god be taking us all through these changes and them changes be really changing us for the better so you know stay consistent persistent with yourself never stay asleep always stay woke you got the bombest potential and light that you possibly have and many of us have and that's the reason why your enemies and the devil try so hard to make you contradict yourself and make you want to give up right when the iron about to get hot keep going okay keep going because you 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 almost there okay keep going so hey you know even through social distancing you know give out love like positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things really take somebody a long way and um you know just for you doing that and not ha having any return or any intentions or motives by doing it you know it's going to take you even further and i hope you have a blessed prosperous week sending all the love upliftment and prosperity and abundant vibes that you need because you know adding that on towards you because you really truly deserve it you've been working hard for it hey i'm sending all that bomb energy towards you and um much love to you god bless i say shalom and much love to you peace